And I promise, even if you're over 60 like I am, you can build really good, impressive arms right here at home with very little equipment. Hey guys, I'm Mark McKilley with Live Anabolic, and if you want to know how to get big arms after 60, you better stick around. So today's workout is going to be basically a blow and go 10 minute workout. All right, so this is for you guys that really just don't have enough time, but you just feel guilty and not doing anything. So a 10 minute workout for your arms is really good. And for you guys that want to maximize and do the most possible, just do the workout twice over. All right, that'll be plenty of sets, lots of volume if you do it twice to really maximize your growth potential. But for you guys that just want to do a quick blow and grow 10 minute workout for your arms, this is a fantastic workout because I've designed it to use supersets. Everything we do today is going to be a superset, which means we're going to be doing two exercises back to back with no rest in between. And of course that maximizes the efficiency. We're not spending a lot of time resting in between sets. So it's just three different supersets. But remember each superset is really two exercises. And the reason we're doing it that way is because our arms are two muscle groups, all right? Most guys think, especially 60 year olds who haven't been working out in a long time, when they think about building big arms, all they think about is doing biceps, lots of curls for the girls. Well guys, your triceps are over 50% of the muscle mass of your upper arm, okay? So if you wanna build big arms, you gotta do triceps, and a real efficient way to do this is by doing supersets. So the first exercise will be a bicep exercise, and without rest, we're gonna immediately follow it up with a tricep exercise. But before I get into today's workout, just want to quickly remind you about a free resource, our Facebook group. It's a blast, even if you hate social media like I do. Just join, create an account. You don't have to use your name. You don't have to post any pictures. Just click the link below this video, join the Facebook group, and join over 20,000 men all around the world because I'm the moderator. I'm the guy that runs the group. I'm in there every day answering questions. And of course, it's not just about working out. It's about nutrition, it's about injuries, it's about motivation, it's people asking questions all over the place, and everybody else is also answering. There's far, far more other guys in the group answering questions than me. So it is a blast, I promise you won't regret it. All right, so I promised a 10 minute arm blasting workout today, and I'm gonna step you through it right now. Now, guys, because we're gonna be doing these exercises pretty quick with, with no rest, okay, on the supersets and, and very little rest in between supersets, you can't use a lot of weight, all right? So don't ego lift. If, if you use too much weight, you won't be able to do a good form. And actually guys, form and that mind-muscle connection you get when you're doing each rep is far more important to building muscle than the amount of weight that you're doing, okay? so. Guys, the first superset today, all right? We're gonna be using dumbbells. All right, we're gonna start off with two arm hammer curls, and then we're gonna superset that by going immediately into two arm skull crushers, okay? So here we go. And I'm gonna recommend you guys do about 10 reps. Typically, the, the best rep range for building muscle is eight to 12, so depending on you know, what dumbbells you have, how much weight, you know, you're gonna vary that. So if you have some, a little bit heavier dumbbells than you, than you really should be using, you'd probably be down around eight reps. And if you don't have heavy enough dumbbells at home, then you're gonna have to push it harder by doing more reps. You know, shoot for 12, maybe even 15, if you're really strong and don't have heavy dumbbells. All right, two arm hammer curls, guys. We're doing simultaneously, I'm not doing alternating. And, and the reason, is because we want this to be a 10 minute blow and go workout. So, 10 reps. Guys, don't swing. This is one of those exercises that you can really cheat on by swinging your upper body and using momentum to lift the weight as opposed to engaging your biceps. That's about seven. 
eight, and it's just as important to lower it down slowly, okay? Control it up and control the weight down, nine, and then 10. Now we're gonna go straight in to the skull crushers. Remember, supersets mean no rest in between. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, that was one superset. I want you guys to do two supersets, all right? I want you to do two sets of each superset, all right? It sounds a little complicated, but it's really not. So after that one superset is done, now is when you take your rest. And guys, shoot for about 60 seconds. Now, once again, this is kind of a blow and go, you know, type workout. If you were really lifting heavy, doing super intense, you know, sets where you're going to failure, you would probably need more than 60 seconds rest, probably more like a minute and a half, sometimes even two minutes if you're really killing it hard. All right, but, but we're not pushing ourselves to that radical limit in today's workout. So just give yourselves about 60 seconds and we're gonna do it again. I'm just, you can just follow through. And that's what keeps us down to basically 10 minutes, all right? And for you guys that want to maximize your results where, you know, you have plenty of time, you don't have to get out. Instead of doing two sets of each superset, you guys just do four. Just double up today's workout. And then you'll get a serious arm pump. All right, here we go. Ten more. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And we're going to go straight to the skull crushers. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, so we've done two sets of the first superset, okay? Now I'm going to take about 60 seconds rest before we move on to the second superset, which I'm going to demonstrate in just a sec. All right, so the second superset <laughs> today is close grip curls, and that only requires a single dumbbell, all right? We're gonna do 10 reps of that, and then with no rest, we're immediately gonna go in to close grip dumbbell presses. Now, of course, that requires two dumbbells, but I've gone up in weight a little bit. I'm using slightly heavier dumbbells from that first exercise, simply because these movements are basically stronger movers. You can just lift more weight, all right? Everybody is gonna to have to adjust differently depending on your strength and basically your, the level of your fitness, but just play around with it. It's, more, it's better to use too light of a weight and better form, go really slow, than it is to accidentally pick too heavy a weight and then not get enough reps and start cheating on your form going fast or swinging. So here we go. This is the first one, close grip, Dumbbell curls. You just hold the dumbbell under the flange, all right? And we're just gonna do 10 curls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, get that mind muscle connection, guys. All right, no rest. Go straight in to close grip dumbbell presses, okay? Now, I'm gonna put these dumbbells as close together as possible, and I might do presses. Now, bring them down to your sternum, a little lower than you would be doing them if you were doing like a chest press, all right? 
So when you have the dumbbells down here, as opposed to further up, you're gonna, you're gonna focus a little more on the triceps. All right, slow and steady. Now guys, this is getting more than just your triceps. We are engaging our chest and the front part of our delts, our shoulders. But still, that's a really good tricep exercise. All right, so that superset is done. And remember, we're doing two of each superset before we go on to the next one. And I'm gonna give myself about 60 seconds rest. All right, and then we're gonna do this again, back to back. So remember, each time we do one of these exercises, we're doing one superset only takes about 60 seconds, right? So then you rest another 60 seconds, then do it all over again. So that's only about three minutes for each exercise. And that's, that's knocking out each exercise for two sets. So hence the 10 minute goal here. Now, once again, you guys that really wanna push it hard, you got plenty of time. You don't need to rush out the door in 10 minutes. Just double up today's workout. Just do, do twice as many sets. And that'll be a pretty good, respectable arm workout. All right, well, I've been kind of paying attention. It's only been about 60 seconds, but it's time to do, all right, set number two of my close grip curls. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Feeling a pump, guys. Remember, it's not just my biceps that are getting pumped, it's those triceps too. It's starting to add up. 10 of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, first two exercises or in the bag, only have one more and we're done with my blow and go 10 minute arm workout. Okay, before I go into the third and final superset, I just wanna mention the fact that the arms are the easiest muscle group to train at home relative to at the gym. All right, so basically with, with just some bands and some dumbbells, you can do almost every really good effective exercise that you could do at the gym all right that's not true for legs or chest or back there's still lots of great exercises you can do from those other muscle groups at home but there's a reason why those gyms have millions of dollars worth of equipment in there all right but arms is so easy to do at home you guys have no excuses all right you can really build a lot of muscle mass at home if you're focusing on arms, it's just harder to do for your other muscle groups, your legs, your back, your chest, things like that. But arms are fantastic to do at home. So this superset is gonna be a combination of face pulls or face curls and tricep pushdowns. All right, so here we go, guys. You have to get some pretension here. Don't stand too close to the door because when I start my curl, I'm going to lean back slightly. All right. When I start my curl, I want there to be some existing tension here. All right. And I'm going to lean back and I'm literally just going to curl the handles to the side of my head. <sighs> face curls. I'm curling to my face. And guys, make sure that your anchor is really secure and safely anchored up there because guess what happens on this particular exercise if it lets go it hits you in the face <laughs> all right so do 10 reps here that's about eight nine try to keep those elbows still 10 and we're going to go immediately into a tricep kick down okay so i want there to be some pretension here so I got plenty of pretension. I'm gonna keep my elbows to my side and just push straight down. 
I'm trying to keep my back straight and I'm trying to keep my elbows pretty still by my side. Nice and slow, control that resistance all the way down and then control it on the way up. All right, so 10 reps and 10 reps there. Only give yourself 60 seconds, guys. We're gonna do this again. So at the end of today's workout, we, have, we will basically have done six sets of biceps and six sets of triceps, but we combined them into these supersets. So it doesn't seem like we did that many, but it's a surprising amount of volume if you kind of add it all up. And remember, for you guys that have plenty of time, I told you to double today's workout. So for you guys that double it, you'll end up doing 12 sets of bicep exercises and 12 sets of triceps. Pretty effective, all right? So here we go. Let's go back and do my face curls, getting back away from the door here and the anchor. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now some of you guys may want to add more resistance. All right, so I'm going and I'm adding a band for those tricep pushdowns. You don't have to do this. And yeah, that adds a little bit to my rest time, but not more than about five or six seconds. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right. I guarantee you that didn't take me more than 10 minutes. Quick blow and go arm building workout. And guys, remember when you're doing the superset, we're trying to, to do these two exercises back to back with no rest. But if all you're doing is adding or lowering resistance or changing out the dumbbells, that's fine, okay? You, when you do that, you're only adding seven or eight, 10 seconds of rest perfectly okay. You don't have to use the exact same weight or resistance with both exercises. Change it up if you need to, to make it difficult to do with good form for 10 reps on every single exercise. All right, 10 minutes. I already got a really good arm pump. And if I wanted to, I could just do it all over again and get a fantastic arm pump. And once again, guys, it's all that my mental connection and pushing yourself, you need the intensity, guys. If you wanna build arms, you know, you can't just go through the motions. And I promise, even if you're over 60 like I am, you can build really good, impressive arms right here at home with very little equipment. And the goal is you have to stick with it and never give up on yourself.